Hi, welcome to Rising Vibration Amiga. This reading is for Gemini for the week of February 25th to March 4th. I am going to tell this to Gemini. I have not told it to the other signs. I did a special segment for Sagittarius and since Gemini is the opposite sign to Sagittarius and may have felt similar challenges that the Sagittarii felt. I will advise you to also go listen to the part of the video that is dealing with the law of attraction. I will try to timestamp it so that I can leave it where other signs who are not Sagittarius can watch that part of the video. So Gemini, it looks like all smiles for you for this week. This should be a great week for most all signs due to the energies associated with all the planets being stacked in Pisces. This will be a great week of luck, of healing, for miracles. It will be great for business, but it is calling for everyone, all signs to be diplomatic uh, when they speak their truth or when they tell someone how it is or when they tell someone how they really feel about them to be diplomatic in the approach and also to watch that ego. So let's see where we are for Gemini. Looks like the Gemini, for the, it's, it's, it's coming across extremely clear that the Gemini is dealing with a gossip or being gossiped about or gossiping about others. I feel like a lot of quick communication, a lot of, uh, yeah, verbal, 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 verbal confrontation um, about this gossip, gossiping. People gossiping, talking. The Gibbon, I may hear something about themselves that upset them this week. That comes from a trusted friend or something that a trusted friend said about the Gemini that is hurting them or upsetting them. Feels like a type of verbal betrayal. Someone that you thought that you could trust, perhaps, uh, turns out to be less less than trustworthy. But in the end, it doesn't look like it has a big impact to you. It's just more of a recognition of what you already thought about this person. It's, it doesn't cause a big disruption. It feels more like some slight disappointment for the Gemini, and they will keep it moving right along and probably fight back in a way that when they hear something negative about themselves, they're like, yeah, yeah, this person, you can expect that from them. They, they counteract it. It's like they knock the ball back. So let's see what else we have. Uh, Jim and I slow down a little bit this week and pay attention. It is this, uh, yeah, you, Gemini, you have to be a little bit focused this week in terms of slowing down. It, it, I keep getting slow down, slow down a little bit. Pay attention for the details, look for the details of matters, look for the details and things. Because it can go either way this week. This can be an absolute wonderful week for a Gemini in terms of, yeah, the possibility of having fun, especially if they're uh, engaged with a new uh, partnership or relationship. Uh, but there is this aspect of paying attention and staying on track. Don't, don't, don't uh, neglect. Don't neglect some things that that you already know about. You already know about whatever this is. Pay attention at your work. Don't neglect your work or responsibilities and give someone an opportunity to um, judge you or attack you on this. Uh, also, don't be provocative with this. Don't purposely, don't purposely try to provocate someone into a confrontation, guys. You know, be diplomatic, be correct in terms of your karmic energy. Things are going pretty great for you and keep it in that direction. Don't let anyone goad you into messing up your own karma with purposely trying to uh, be provocative or damaging, verbally damaging or attacking anyone or gossiping even. Avoid gossip this week, Gemini.
So let's see if we have anything else coming through for Gemini. I want to pull these. This is a good tarot. We have the King of Fire. This is like the King of Wands. We have the High Priestess, Major Arcana, and we have Love. This is like the Strength card. So you guys know how to get under this person's skin or this person knows how to get under your skin. They know how to get you to react. And you have to be smarter than that, okay? No one controls you, Gemini, in terms of allowing someone to control how you act or react, you know? Be smart about how you project yourself, how you carry yourself, and how you convey yourself to others. I also just got that. You know, I feel like someone will be watching Gemini when they're out in public and observing them, especially if it has something to do with your work or someone you have a contract with. Th them seeing you out in public and you acting a certain way that they can judge and it might affect your work. So pay attention on this this week. Don't get into any public arguments or confrontation. That might be what that's about, Gemini. And carry yourself like the professional, classy person that you know that you are in the week of February 25th through March 4th. That's what I have for Gemini. You guys, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next week. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.